Hello everyone, Angelo Sposato from Wolf Close Combat and Vegard Academy. Today, finally back with a review and we are gonna check the Brynite PT28 Odd Keeper. We are talking about a flashlight capable of 1600 lumens in the maximum output and um, yeah, let's check it out. Quick unboxing of the package, I will show you. If then you are interested, you can also watch on um, Instagram. I shared um, a longer video with the first real unboxing and also some tactical applications. So you can check it out on Instagram, Angelo Wolf Sposato. And anyway, the package is very nice. Let's check what is inside. Instructions. And then of course now the flashlight it's here already mounted with a tactical ring but i'm gonna show you this pretty pretty nice package okay there's a pouch inside i'm gonna now show you everything two spare o-rings and inside the pouch we do have a paracord lanyard very nice to have and a USB cable for charging. This is a magnetic cable and I will show you how it works. Here we are again and this is our flashlight. I hope you can see. It's very very nice. The, um, the finishing it's great and it's made of uh, aircraft uh, grade aluminum AL6061 T6 and it's very lightweight with no batteries it's 110 grams uh, with the batteries and the ring it's uh, 178 so pretty lightweight the battery is included and let's check a little bit the features of this uh, flashlight as you can see here we have the side switch there's a LED, you see here, probably it's uh, difficult to see in the video, but it's, uh, it's a very light green and this is always uh, giving us an idea how, how much battery is left. And so now it's green, so that means that it's, uh, uh, it's full. And when I'm activating the flashlight, as you can probably see now, this screen is getting more intense until it's turning off. Now when I turn off the flashlight again, after some seconds, the green will appear again. First operation, of course, we need to charge our flashlight. So pretty simple. Okay. As I showed you already, we have a USB cable. We can use the magnetic port. This is attaching automatically and on the LED indicator we will have a red light until it's fully charged. At that point will be green again. Let's talk about how to operate with the flashlight. We have a um, tail switch that is giving us two uh, different uh, possibilities. Um, temporary on and off or a constant on and off. So we have the possibilities of turning on and off the flashlight with a temporary, in temporary mode, just partially pressing the switch, the tail switch. Okay, but we also have the possibility of acti activating the strobe function with a fast double, double press. Okay, if I quickly press two times, the strobe function in 1600 lumens is, is going to be activated. Second possibility, of course, is the constant on. So I'm going to press completely. OK, you can hear the click. OK, and this way now the, the flashlight is on and I can switch through the different intensities using the side switch. OK, now we start from the 10 lumens, so in the low. Then we have the mid 60 lumens, okay, the high 360, the turbo, 
Let's talk about the special functions, how to activate them. Flashlight on. Okay, now I'm going to double press quickly. Okay, to activate the strobe function. Okay, if I want to activate the SOS function, I need another quick double press. As you can see, now it's again on off. I can go through the, the intensities, low, mid, high, and turbo. Okay, so double press strobe, 1600 lumens, double press SOS in 60 lumens. I'm going to show you again the four intensities. We're going to start with the low, 10 lumens, one press, now we are in mid, so 60, high 360, turbo 1600. I'm going to double press, now we have the strobe function, and again a double press, and we have the SOS. That was of course for the constant on and off, let's check the temporary on partially pressing okay and if I do it two times quickly holding I can activate the strobe function I release and it's still off okay guys final considerations I've been testing the flashlight for a couple of months now and I didn't have any issue with it it's working pretty well easy to use easy to carry even if it's not super small but it's also not that big and it can be easily uh, carried every day like i do personally in the pocket in the jacket um, in a small bag and it's very very um, easy and practical it's uh, the flashlight it's uh, really uh, top notch it's uh, it works pretty well but it's also the finishing the quality of the flashlight it's it's uh, it's great. Uh, to be honest, uh, I couldn't find any small detail that was not really well rounded or, or well coated. So the only thing, to be honest, it's the it's this clip. It's not very strong, as, as you can probably see. I show you yes, maybe you can see now. There's a small gap in between the flashlight and the clip, so. It's not super strong, um, especially when you carry it in your pocket. I would like to have something stronger. So very, very tight clip in the way that uh, if I have to run or in also for law enforcement and security personnel, if I'm struggling with someone, if I need even to fight with someone, I'm not losing the flashlight. When I need it, I go there. It's not there anymore. Of course, there's a pouch and also for this, to be honest, it's pretty cool, pretty practical, uh, easy to put on your belt, and you can um, also change the angle. It's very comfortable. The only thing, it was a little bit loose, so for sure, a tactical uh, uh, holster would be something nice to have for uh, professional applications. But at the moment, this is what uh, we had, and. I can say pretty small, okay, the, even with, um, with the ring it's not taking too much uh, space, easy to open, easy to use, easy to grab, so as I said, it's, um, it's in my opinion a very, a very good uh, flashlight. If you are interested, uh, you can find uh, in a link below. Um, a connection directly with Brynight if you wanna if you wanna buy it. I'm not sponsored uh, from Brynight and I'm not getting any money if you're gonna if you're gonna buy it. And more than this, if you are interested in the full review with unboxing, testing indoor and outdoor, and also some tactical application on on the on the belt, okay, for security application with the gun or with the baton. Okay, you can check my Instagram, Angelo Wolf Sposato, and you will find a longer video with all this, um, uh, all these parts that are not included in this uh, short video. And 
also my final considerations of it. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon.